Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and we're constructing tool belts today. In fact, we're sort of talking about tools in general, because I want to start here on the table with the ladder. I've cut one out of gray, but it's kind of cool. If you cut out of a different color, you can layer on top and create what looks like a neat shadowing technique. If you're a library and you're looking at the 2017 CSLP theme, Build a Better World, these um, dies would be great for that. The second die that I want to show you is actually the tool belt. Here is the die and you're going to cut one of these. The die has both of these, but you do want to cut multiples of these because this is the belt part that you want to measure to the child's waist. And by that, I mean, if you look here, here is one that I've already constructed and this belt portion just needs to be long enough to fit around the child's waist. So in this example, I've just glued three of those strips together and then I've taken our tool set. The tool set includes the wrench, the saw, the pliers, um, and the screwdriver and the hammer, and they fit perfectly into this tool belt. In order to put it together, the belt portion itself, as I said, you want to overlap layers in order to make the strip long enough that it will fit to the waist of the child who's going to be wearing it. So I'm going to just go ahead and put some adhesive and put three of these together, which is actually probably longer than I need. At this point, I'm going to take this part, sort of the, the pocket portion, fold it along the perforations, and I'm going to this is the back, this is where the belt is going to slide through. But first, I'm going to staple it shut. So you can use adhesive, but I think it's easier to just put a few staples to hold the sides. And at this point, you're going to turn it over and slide this through. So you end up with the tool belt. Now, most of the tool belts, my dad was um, a wonderful builder and he built lots of furniture in my home and so I'm very familiar. It's very normal to have a section here that sticks out and the way that we achieve that is by folding on the perforations and then adding adhesive. You could staple this as well if you want to but if I tuck one under here and fasten it down and then bubble it up like this and fasten this down, you can see how it's going to create the section that's going to allow you to place tools like the hammer so that when you walk around you have all your, all your tools at the ready. In fact, let's go back and look at this finished one again and you can see how fun this is. This is just what little child would not love wearing this. You know, your students are going to love strapping on their very own tool belt that they made themselves.